Hello, um, this is Talker Magazine, and uh, it's very nice to meet you today. Likewise, pleasure. Now, uh, you are in the middle of your tour with new lineup of Delane. And how does it feel comparing to the times when Delane just uh, disbanded and there was that uncertainty time? Yeah, that's, it's a totally different world, of course. The time that uh, we had to split with the previous members was also when there was COVID, you couldn't play. And now um, it's a completely different world and it's a mix of working with new people, but also working with people that weren't delaying before. So it's a, it's a complete mix. I'm so grateful that we're able to, uh, to play and do shows, make music. So I'm really happy. How fans responded to the changes in the everything? You mean internally or you mean uh, the fans or do you mean... The internally and the fans. Both. Uh, well, for the fans, of course, I don't know because that's like you have people that uh, adapted really quickly. You have people who really prefer uh, the way Delane was before. So it's, it's a mixture of yeah, how people perceive that. But in general, people are very open and very positive and that is wonderful. And, and in the band, it's kind of like with the people I worked with before, you know, the old band members, it's like they never left. It feels like old times. And then, of course, with the new people, it's a fresh new input, which is also great. So um, it, it, it's great. I'm, I'm really happy. Yeah. I read about a time when um, Delane was disbanded and it was a really hard time for you. And I'm not going to ask you again uh, how it happened or what, uh, what was that. But I have that question. Uh, what, makes, what made you going forward during that time? How you manage to stay uh, on your track? I think it's, it all boils down to follow your heart and uh, be true to yourself. And um, yeah, you know, it were, there were really rough times, but you know, everybody in life has rough times. It's part of, of life and you simply have to keep true to yourself and try to get through it. And um, yeah, that's what I try to do. And also in those times, you, you also really know who your friends are, you know, people who support you and, and, and help you. And, and yeah, I was blessed with really, really awesome friends who helped and without them, I wouldn't be able to do this. So um, yeah, it's, it's like struggles in life that everybody that also that watches this video can talk about, you know, everybody has their struggles. Yeah, and uh, if somebody finds himself or herself in such situation, what would be your advice how to... Yeah, it sounds cliche, but it's so true. It's, it's indeed follow your heart and be true to yourself and therefore be true to others. And um, that's all the advice I can give. Um, and don't give up either, that's also important. That, that's really, really important. To the outside, people may think, oh, but Martijn stood alone. But I, I was so not standing alone. There were so many people behind me, supporting me. And um, yeah, and that's why we're here. Also with this awesome group of people that we are making new music for Delane. And um, that's why we can do it. Now that uh, Diana and uh, Robin, your wife, writes the lyrics for Delane, how would you describe uh, what changed with the lyrics? Um, well, when I look at Robin, she has really draws inspiration from fantasy stories, more like poetry kind of lyrics, which is a little bit more abstract. And when I compare that uh, with Charlotte, for example, she wrote more lyrics from her own experience being more in the moment. And that's a different way. And I'm not saying one, one way is better than the other, but uh, it's, that makes it different. Uh, and when, I, when it comes to Diana, I think it's a little bit the same. She, um, she well, the same as Charlotte in this case. She, she writes more lyrics in the, um, the moment and what, what she experiences and what insp inspires her. And that's different than in the storytelling way what Robin is doing. And I noticed that a lot of lyrics in last album is quite abstract. Yes. 
Can you, for instance, take one song and explain like a little bit more uh, specifically? Yeah, sure. Well, actually, a lot has also been drawn from what happened to Delane. You know, um, the element water is an element that comes back a lot on the album, but also the places Delane has been very dark places, like dark waters, so to say. That's of course the title of the album. But um, yeah, you know, Delane emerged to the surface again from the deep waters and. And that's of course something that is drawn directly from what happened to Delane and what you can find back in a song like Beneath, for example. In the lyrics, it's a lot of uh, sentences that start with you, uh, like the word you. Yeah. And who is that you? Can be anybody. Actually, I, I didn't actually even realize that. So I don't think there's a... There's a line to be drawn there. I think that's a coincidence. I'm just curious about your writing process. So um, at some point you decided that uh, Robin will be writing uh, lyrics uh, alongside with Diane. Diane. And um, how did it went? Uh, did uh, she wrote the lyrics all by herself or you had some kind of interaction that you told her uh, what works in a song? No, she, she, I have been blessed with having a wife. She, I were married and that she is First of all, she's a native English speaker. Second of all, she is so much into language and into poetry and into lyrics already. So for me, it was a very organic conclusion of, okay, are you willing to write lyrics? And she wrote lyrics and she came to me, hey Martijn, this is what I came up with, what do you think? And, um, but on purpose, I really left her have some free space because that's when creativity really thrives, I think. And uh, so I gave her the melody lines and and um, uh, the songs, and then she wrote on that. And it's funny because in the past I also wrote like that. I also wrote melody lines, and you know, and then it went to others, and 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 that always has worked for me. So for me, it was kind of a very organic continuation, like how it always went. But with a, one big difference that. Yeah, that coincidence brought like the situation that Robin could do it. Somebody who's very much into lyrics and language. So, what more can you wish for? Yeah. I noticed that. Uh, well, I met Paolo right now, and um, you have also strong ties to Finland thanks to Mark Hetala. Uh, but uh, just a quick question: How you ended up working with Paolo? Oh, yeah, that's a funny story. I was actually in contact with. Anton, that's the songwriter uh, and guitar player Beast in Black. We always stayed in touch and he was kind of in a similar situation as I was years ago. Uh, and uh, at a certain point I was searching for a vocalist uh, for Delane. And um, I, I actually didn't know if I would end up with a female vocalist or a male vocalist for the band. And eventually it was Diana, but Paolo was kind of somebody I considered as well in the early stage. And we also uh, decided, let's just make music together and see where, where this journey goes. And Anton uh, introduced me to Paolo, they are friends as well. And that's how I got in touch and, and it developed into him singing on the new record. Uh, I noticed that the bass player, Ludovico, he plays in extreme metal bands. Yes. And I just wonder how it all works together because you are not an extreme to extreme metal band, no. right? Is he contributing to his, his extremeness into your band or how does it work? <laughs> uh, well, the music was kind of already developed and, and written when he joined. But of course we talked about, you know, when we approached him, like, hey, would you like to play in the lane? And he, he loves this kind of music as well. He's a very versatile musician. And it's also kind of, I'm kind of a roughness that would really help in Delane's DNA to give it a little bit more toughness on stage and perhaps also in the music. His growls are amazing. It's like so huge. And so I hope we can, with the upcoming album, we can really uh, work together more intensive and embed that more. But um, yeah, it works really well. So even if you forget about uh, changes in the lineup, how the lane evolves, how is the show in general and music comparing to older albums? 
Uh, well, it's, it's a mixture of things because we play music from our past, which we still play, and also with the old band members, so that it's kind of the same. But um, with the new music, of course, it will evolve in something new and only time will tell. And in the end, I really believe that music comes from the heart. And um, yeah, that means that it's a, a little bit unpredictable what's ahead. But um, uh, life is going great, of course. Diana has to get into her role. She, she is kind of pushed into the deep, so to say, and, and she is really enjoying it. And we try to help her where we can. And uh, she, she's developing. And that needs time, and that's always with a vocalist. It was also with Charlotte, also needed time to develop. And with Diana, that's the same thing. And um, it's a very interesting journey, and, and a really cool journey to, to, to take. So I'm, I'm really, really looking forward to that, because there's so much potential there. And uh, yeah, I can't wait yeah, to see what will happen. Yeah, and what about new material? Are you writing something else? Um, yeah, we, we actually, it's funny, in, in a month from now, uh, I'm going back to Finland. And we're going on a writing camp, so we're going to write a little bit. We already wrote some material as well. And um, yeah, we, we, we will keep writing like we always did. You know, I, I, I'm doing this for 20 years. And yeah, still write the same way. And also with the same person, I write with Gus. He's uh, my co-writer. We write together for... For, yeah, for decades, literally, and that will continue. And now, of course, we will also involve Diana at a certain point in the process as well, and that will bring new freshness uh, to the table as well. So, yeah, it's, it's a really exciting time, and especially the upcoming months when we will pick it up again, the writing. So let's see what happens. I just got curious. Uh, what is this writing camp? How does it look like? And why, why in uh, Finland? Yeah, we will... Um, uh, kind of go to a different environment, set up our computers, play music, and also get some inner peace, so to say. So also not write 24 seven, also relax. And it's a very quiet uh, area, nature is there, and you will find peace here, and therefore that helps a lot by the creative juices starting. And um, yeah, let's see what happens. Which, which city in Finland? I'm going to Kite. I'm, um, uh, I'm friends with uh, Johanna and Tuomas. We will ride in that area. Is it night with? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, a lot of beautiful music has been written there. So I hope it will rub off on our, our creative process as well. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, is it first time for you to have such a camp here? Uh, here, yes. We did it in Spain as well, and in Germany and in the Netherlands. And uh, now we're trying here in Finland. And uh, yeah, can't wait. Yeah, just prepare for the mosquitoes. Yeah, but we'll, we'll ride inside the house, so that will be okay, I think. <laughs> All yeah. right. Uh, thank you very much. My pleasure.